Here's Young. Heidi, nice move. Draws the contact and scores. There's the smiles. We saw that yesterday from South Dakota State when they started to pull away. And watch defense here. They fly out on Idy. She can't hit that shot in a slow shot fake. That's key. It's a lot of toll on these athletes' bodies. Idy pops into the lane. Now out for Bover. Her three's on the way and it banked in. That is the second in a row. Gabby Bover, I think you're doing that intentionally. You kind of sort the nine seed in the tournament last year. It's the same thing this year. The dreaded 8-9 matchup <laughs> coming up next. Heiser. Finally, a three goes down. Boy, did they need that. Very vivacious character off the court in Kim Nizani. Well, she's the personality of that team, and Jill Young is the three-point ace of this team. And the lead swells. Now Young trying to answer back and does. She's got six. Blake Slavin Jr. out of Hutchinson, Kansas. And Jill Young, the senior from Mitchell, South Dakota, has nine. All of her points coming on threes. Strong move, Lingle. Bover got the three. With less than three seconds to go in the half, and South Dakota State trails by nine at the break, but maybe that will spin it forward for SDSU in a positive way, and they can come out stronger in the second half. Was much more indicative of a South Dakota State run offense. Good inbounds play, and capping it off is Idy, and Heiser comes away with it. Good pass. Dino finishes. South Dakota State can tie with a three. They were down 17. Idy, you bet. Three for Strzok. Yes. And we're tied again. Looking like she's ready to come back in. Three ball. Good for Idy. Her second three of the half. And South Dakota State leads for the first time in this contest. Tied at 45. Good move. And the foul. Jenny Sutterborn gets to the free throw line. It's been a tough day for Sutterborn. But an opportunity to three-point play. I tell you what, Ashley Hill has not had good luck in this game. She's got position. She has the height over Sunderborg. Watch her move her feet, but not enough. And that's what I'm talking about with Sunderborg. Heiser dumps it down on the block. Sunderborg spins, hits the bottom of the net. Gotta love March Madness. Sunderborg. Back and forth we go under nine and a half. Up and under, Sutterberg on the reverse. Uh, South Dakota State, get the ball inside of Katie Lingle. You've got Ashley Hill with four fouls on the court. And they go inside to her. Nice spin. And she played pedestrian defense because she had to. With... They go back inside to Lingle. Spin it back out to Strop. Bingo! Little fist pump from Strop. Her second three of the half. Under four to go. The Jacks with a tenuous lead. Heiser got it from three. Back to a two-point game. Heidi. And the foul. Ashley Heidi. Down Hall Judge, the gamer. We're going to see what she can do. An option on ball screen with Kim Nazania and get that mismatch on Dayon Hall-Jones. She's got 27 points. She's likely going to take the last shot. Two to shoot. Gets it up. No, we're going to overtime. Dangerous pass, Deedle. 
She uses the window two to tie it up. Deedle. Nice drive, and she's going to the line. Shutterboard for Heiser, the runner. Tara Heiser. Shot clock irrelevant now. SDSU can take the last shot. 11.2 to go. Heiser looking to get it in. Does for Young. Young throws it up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line. And she is a 90% foul shooter. Young sets a back screen for Sunderborg and then has a post up. Not often does she get a mismatch. You know what, Clay? She's a coach's daughter. She's played like that all game long. Just heads up decisions. I don't think she's made a bad decision yet. She could put SDSU ahead with the next make. Attack the basket if she can. And look for an O'Connor fill curling around. The Jacks lead. Timeout, Aaron Johnston. Hill gets it in. It is Hall Jones. Hall Jones. No. And SDSU dancing for the fourth straight time. Valiant effort by UMKC, but they fall one point short in overtime. Here's the final play. And I like this call right now. You have Heiser and help side. She was far off of Leandria Thomas, but you knew who was going to take that last shot. Excellent tactical decision defensively by Aaron Johnston. South Dakota State overcomes a 17-point first-half deficit. They trailed by nine at the half. Very reminiscent, Abby, of what happened when these two teams met in Kansas City. South Dakota State got behind, rallied back, and UMKC is dejected again. Chance to make history, but you know what? South Dakota State is making history in their own right. We've talked about the fortitude of this team. If I'm the rest of the field, I do not want to see South Dakota State end up in my games.